The 4th of July is upon us. Are you ready? No? Well, I'm going to cover some do's and don'ts of how to prepare your dog without having any supplies or getting anything you need for the night. Let's jump on that now. You have a dog that does not like fireworks, right? Or maybe you have a new puppy. Seven months old, obviously never had 4th of July before. I want to throw this video up to help as many people as I can. Give them some real good tips on the do's and don'ts of preparing your dog for fireworks. These are things that you'll be able to do without having to prepare or buy anything. I am going to start with the most powerful, 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 most important one of all. If you have a puppy or you have a five-year-old dog that hates fireworks, tire your dog out. A tired dog is going to be more of a relaxed dog. If they are physically tired, the brain will be exhausted too. Oh, I walk my dog all the time. It still doesn't help. I'm not talking about walking your dog for 15, 30 minutes. No, no, no. Not even an hour. I'm talking about a two to three hour walk. Yes, you heard me. A two to three hour walk. You might be even exhausted after this. So a two to three hour walk. Tie them out. Work the brain. Okay. Felix, I'm not going to be able to do two, three hours. All right, so do something else that might make the brains really work for a short amount of time. May have a backyard pool. They never went in the pool before. Guess what? Perfect time. Maybe you do 45 minutes of having them go in the pool. Guess what? The brain is going to be working. Not only physically they're going to get tired, the brain is going to get tired. And they're going to be more relaxed that night. Do something very unique that's going to tie them out, and the brain is going to go with that. If you have a puppy, they might not feel frightened yet. So maybe do some food games. Maybe even play some tug. Maybe throw some food, have them search for it. Anything to get them going. And that, in addition, is going to make them tired. It's going to work their brain. So a new dog, a puppy, might be, be, able, be able to get away with it. Older dog that knows what's going to happen and knows that noise and might shut down the stomach and might not want food. Maybe they'll play tug. Maybe they won't want to do anything. But... At least you, you could try it with a new dog. Do play some background music. Some background noise. Obviously, white noise. Maybe put the TV on a little loud. If you ha live in a house and you don't have neighbors close by, put that TV up. Watch a movie. Something that's going to maybe drown some of the fireworks. Take them out early. Don't take them out when it gets dark. Take them out early. When it's still daylight. That way you don't have to worry about it when it gets dark. If your dog is nervous and wants to run around, hide underneath the sofa, hide underneath the bed, run into the bedroom, don't allow them to do that. What you want to do is put them on leash. If you keep them with you, they feel safe. You don't want them to feel a uh, flight for fear. You want them to be out there to get you, used to the noise, hear the noise, and then run and hide underneath the bed. If they do anything dangerous, uh, they panic, anything like that, you could have control of them. So do put them on the leash. If they start reacting or before they start reacting. So you get them tired. You, work, you do a three-hour walk. Guess what? Maybe you fed them early. And guess what now? Fireworks are going. But you got something freaking awesome. Give them a marrow bone. A beautiful smelly marrow bone with the meat and everything. Or maybe a smoked marrow bone. Something that's going to drive them crazy. Something that just they're just not going to be able to resist. Obviously, if the stomach shuts down and not going to be hungry. But give it a try. If they're hungry and tired, great combination for fireworks. Do not, I repeat, do not, especially if your dog has never been exposed to fireworks, do not take your dog, your puppy, to a fireworks demonstration or show. Do not. That is the worst thing you could possibly do. Do not take your dog or puppy to a fireworks show. You will have them panic, and they will want to run away. So do not put them, take them to a fireworks show. Do not make a big deal when the fireworks start going. Do not go, oh, my God, the hell's that noise? Oh, my God, the fireworks are going. They will see you get stressed, and your, your emotions will be going crazy. Their emotions are going to go crazy. Do not overreact to the fireworks. Act like nothing's happening. Fireworks, oh, no big deal, right? Who cares? Do not overreact when you start hearing fireworks. You will stress your dog out. They will feel something's wrong, 
and they will act like something's wrong just as you are acting. Don't change your routine dramatically. What do I mean? You are going to change some things, but don't act like you're ready for a typhoon, you're ready for a tornado, and you're ready for something major to hit, and you're stressing out, and you're stressing your dog out. Act, do everything normal, change your routine, but don't act like you're ready for the bombs to hit, okay? Do things earlier, take them out, may take them for a longer walk, but do not act like the world's coming to end and the tornado's going to hit the house. They will stress out. Do not leave your dog a home alone that night. Out of all nights, bring your dog with you. Or don't bring your dog. Stay home. If you know your dog is a stressful dog, do not leave your dog home alone. The last thing you need to do is come home and they hurt themselves or they did something that, you know, you will regret. So do not leave your dogs home alone. Be there with them so they know they are safe and secure with you. Don't leave them home. Don't leave them alone. Do not take your dog, if you can, out at night when the fireworks start going. It only takes a second for some fireworks to pop out of nowhere. You didn't hear it the last half hour before, but some neighbor decided to do it at that time. And guess what? You're walking right in front of the house, and then your dog freaks out, slips out of the lead, and you lose them. Don't do that. Of all nights, do not do that. Don't leave them home alone, and don't take them out for a walk late at night. Take them out early. Even if you have to get up early to take them out to the bathroom, it'll be much better than you do it during the daytime when there's no fireworks. So these are some quick tips to help you guys get over this rough time for your dogs. A lot of dogs have a rough time. Have a safe and happy 4th of July. If you're in New York area, Poughkeepsie, Dutchess County, Westchester, and you really need help with your dog, I'm the answer for you. I am going to offer you a free consultation. We'll be able to start helping your dog today by going forward and making that appointment. Talk to you guys soon. Click that link.